The first feature we're going to look at in NX Structure Designer is the ability to save to a DSTV format. This is perhaps the most important feature of the release. If you want to get your members to a manufacturing machinery, this is the command to do it. We take a quick look at the uh, members. We see we have some members with lots of holes in there. Go to File, Export. At the bottom of the list, you'll see the DSTV. Here. You can pick any numbers of beams that you want to export. You can set a name, a project name, and you can even save directly to Team Center. I already have one created, and we'll take a quick look. This is a fairly standard format. We have added some nice information in the header block so you know exactly the date that it was created, the author, and a few other important details. More importantly, what does the file look like? If we open this up in some free viewing software, we see we've got our beam and some holes ready to go. The next enhancement is the ability to inherit other members during creation. That way, you don't have to guess at what they are or do any kind of measuring or interrogation. Simply start the member command, use the select object, this new option, pick an existing beam. It will figure out what that beam is and populate the stock options for you all automatically. Now ready to make our selections. We'll pick a few members here, turn the merge option off, hit apply, pick a few more sketches, turn the merge option off, and we're ready to go. Of course, we have to add corner treatments, but you've seen that process in the past. Next, let's add some plates. This new feature allows you to simply pick a landing face, Pick your sketch boundaries, and just like that, you get a plate. If you don't want a plate on all of your boundaries, simply use these options down here to define a plate based on these elements, or which will create one single plate, or you can use a secondary option to define a, a plate per each of your regions selected. If you want, you can change your material type from plate to say expanded steel and change your display option to show exactly what that's going to look like. This last enhancement will show how we've made changes to our folder structure. If you remember in the past, we had everything stored at the structure level. While that did work, it did make things difficult on hiding all of your design components or changing them to a reference only so they wouldn't show up in things like parts list, drawings, and um, mass properties. If you're a Team Center user, we're doing that automatically. Notice how we have a design subassembly and we have a consolidate subassembly. Everything in the design sub subassembly will be flagged as reference only so it won't show up in drawings, parts list, and a few other things. If you're working in native mode, you can accomplish the same. All you need to do, simply right click and change all of your components to suppression in your design folder and everything like mass properties will all be correct. I hope you enjoy these new features in Structure Designer. Thanks for watching.